Hey Tron, I'm Marbo here and welcome back to another episode of Civilization 5 Data Twins with Quill 18. Hey folks! And I'm going to start this part with the war declaration. <laughs> 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 I had enough of this guy. He needs to die a terrible death. It's just a thing that has to happen every couple of centuries. Yep, it does. It's all about six understand. different city states. Wow. Oh my god. And two of them are right next to me, almost. Mm-hmm. I can only see four in total that he's allied with, so... Mm, I'll just have to handle it. I can't kick him out, he's more than 100 influence ahead of me and I have no money. It's done. Alright. Now, I'm not signing a peace treaty until I take... I don't know if I'll take his capital, but definitely the two cities that are on the way to his the capital. Winner lose. Yep. Shouldn't be too hard because I have a pretty big military advantage. I hate upgrading things that don't have any upgrades, but. or promotions. But I still have a hard time producing a big military. And I continue to be kind of concerned about the situation. I would really like to have picked up Edern, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm starting to research the military techs now. Yep. Steel, gunpowder, chemistry. I should enter modern era in three turns now. With that research agreement and with my own great scientists, I will definitely get electricity. Well, I should be able to... Germany is denouncing me now. Wow. Because they don't like me too much. I should be able to steal a technology in, like, a turn? They have early concerns oh, about my go. warmongering. I didn't, in, I didn't even take any cities in this game. And they are worried about my warmongering. Yeah, I know. It's really kind of surprising, mm -hmm. actually. The AI seems to be really, really, really on edge. Yeah. I can understand that about the super peaceful AIs, but Germany isn't what I would call super peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. I don't know what you're saying. He's not only a warmonger, but he's definitely not a super peaceful sieve. Not really. Actually, I should probably have some more trading posts, but eh, it's fine. Alright. The only annoying part is that now I don't have free tile range units. That's true. So attacking I mean, cities will be a little bit trickier. Mm -hmm, but killing units should go really well because of the strength increase. Yeah, for sure. Wait. Does Babylon get mm -hmm. cons? Uh, the what? The con. Isn't that just a Mongolian thing? Yeah, it like is. A great well, Babylonian con. Hulegu, the Babylonian con. Oh, can a militaristic city state specialize in that? Maybe? I have no idea, but they shouldn't be able to get cons. That is a Mongolian unit. I know of no militaristic city states right now, actually, which is kind of interesting. I didn't actually think militaristic states could get that. I oh, know. wait, I wait. Is I think I know what might have happened. Let me check global politics. Because you can take the thing that gives you... I know what happened. Okay. He has five policies people. in Parsonage, and there's a policy yeah. in Parsonage that makes city-states give you great people from time to time. I right. know you can get Merchant of Venice that way, even if you're not Venice yourself. So he uh, probably got a can like that. Just at random. That is so weird. Yeah. So that's what happened. But that's interesting. And cans are... Actually, great. Not be just because of the extra healing that they mm -hmm. have, but also because they can move five tiles. Oh, that's true, yeah. One of the things I don't like about great generals is how slow they are. I know, and actually what bugs me is uh, great admirals, sometimes they go to the same speed as your ships, but not always, depends on what the vessel is. Yeah. Uh, so, Dandalo just sent me a deal. Mm -hmm. Deal strengthens our nations and bonds of friendship, except it's empty. Probably a glitch with that um, DLC. Yeah, or that not has the to DLC, be a glitch. but the, the DLL. Mm -hmm.
Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the stupid city states that I am now at war with. Yeah, he's got a ton of them, doesn't he? Yep. This is actually going to be pretty tough. Well, I have to kill all of his units before I at least start pushing the city. Because there's no way around it. And he has a lot of units. They are pretty bad ones, but I have to kill them anyway. Mostly the stupid elephants still. What's the special trait of the elephants? Are they uh, just good? Like, do they get the bonus versus cavalry specifically? I actually is that don't thing? remember. I'll check the help. What are they called? War mm. elephants? Yeah. No, no, that's... Oh, that's a different one. Naraysians, elephants, or whatever. I'll tell you in a moment. Oh, there. Bonus mm -hmm. versus mounted. Higher combat strength than a knight. Yeah, just higher combat strength. Oh, 25. But yeah, my Gatling guns have 30. So they can actually... They are kind of stronger than the musket men, technically, I suppose. One combat strength stronger. So I need to be careful with this. And he has a lot of elephants. Like, I see mm -hmm. at least seven. I see eight. And they've got mobility, they've got the strength. They're no good at attacking cities. I see nine that. elephants right now. Wow. That's a lot <laughs> of elephants. Nine elephants. Holy crap. Yeah, this might take a while. I think I'm actually going to start that citadel. <laughs> yeah, just to do damage to his units, really. But not on this turn, I had to move first. I almost lost my musket man just now. Okay, time to back up. This is going to be interesting. And I have to deal with the city states though. That's the one like part. It's take a while to get through. Yeah, it will take a while. And he's sending units from that troll city, so... <laughs> I'm being attacked from three different directions right now. Which is going to be very annoying to deal with. Oh, I'm not getting horses from you anymore. Let me go and bug you about that. And he's about to pillage my silk, I think. I don't think I can prevent him from doing that. Well, I'll get electricity in two turns, so there's that. Not that it helps me with the war, not really. Yeah, it sounds like you've got a real slugfest that it's going to yeah. be hard to actually make progress for. Yeah, it will be. At least towards the south with that choke point. Or are you going to the troll city first? I kind of wanted to do take both at the same time, so I have a few units attacking the troll city or close to the troll city, and I have some units to the south. Oh, our research agreement is done. And... Yep. I will send you I will send you some money so that we can reset one. I have 247. 250. Okay. And how much is it costing us right now? We need 300 each. So Oh, we don't have friendship. Let's do that. Propose friendship. Oh yeah, it expired. Okay. Well, the elephants die very easily against Gatling guns. So, I just need to take the time to get rid of them. Take some gold. Uh, so, I have a great scientist now, but I don't think I'm in a position to make a cool slingshotty sort mm -hmm. of move. So, I'm thinking about just settling him. The only problem here is not the units. It's just that I'm being attacked from almost every direction possible. So, my units are spread out a lot. That's the only problem here. Not the specific units that I'm fighting against. Although the city states that are attacking me are more advanced than this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm being attacked by city state Gatling guns, for example, and this guy doesn't have access to Gatling guns. <laughs> so that's kind uh, of you funny. Sh you should accept the deal so 
Wait, oh, okay. You okay. can do a research agreement. Uh, oh, that's 300, not 350? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oops, did I accidentally cancel it? No, there it is. Good. And now I'm Bam. exactly at zero. Well, I've got uh, I've got an extra 250 if you need any cash. No, no, it's okay. I'm trying to catch up via via research agreements. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, my economy is not that bad. It's mostly that I spent over 1,000 gold upgrading all my longbowmen. <laughs> all right, the Ottomans are rocking riflemen now, and are again quite near me. Yeah, I'm working on getting riflemen myself. And great, city-state pillaged my coal, so now I can continue my factories. That's very annoying. And I can't even repair it right now because they have too many units nearby. Trade, declare war on the Ottomans. Ouch! Three luxury resources is a little bit intense there, Napoleon. Yeah, just a little bit. It's kind of rude. See, and Nebuchadnezzar will do it for two gold per turn plus citrus. I like it. Yeah, that's much I better. Keep, I gotta keep the Ottomans in a permanent war. Yep. Otherwise, they will just go after you. Mm hmm. Okay, I so don't want to do it, but I'm actually starting a citadel. <laughs> Screw this. Is this your only great general? Yeah, but I will get another one kind of soon. So that will help. Are you, uh, you're still building the porcelain tower? Uh, say again? Are you still building the porcelain tower? Uh, no, no. I didn't even oh. get started because I started the Oxford University instead. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm going to build it though because I think it's a little late for it now. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong. Well, I don't think any AIs have rationalism. Oh, let's take a look. So, if you want it, you can build it. No, um, they don't have rationalism. Oh. If you have uh, a, no, no, Bismarck, no, Bismarck does. does. Yeah. I Hold don't know. On, I'm I do, spying I... on his capital, I think. No, I'm not. Never mind. But if you have high production city, you could probably do it. Yeah, or if you have enough know. faith to fight by a great engineer. Do you? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I've got some mm -hmm. key core buildings to build. I'm gonna keep working on those. All right. So that citadel should make my life much easier now. I wonder if I can see it. It's right next nope. to that mountain, the one tile yeah. mountain. I think it's probably just in the fog of war from my perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My last game, I actually built a fort for like the first time ever in Civ 5. Someone's stealing text from me. That's not you, is it? Nope. I should probably consider leaving a spy in my capital soon. Okay, this guy is screwed now in my citadel. The only problem is that I might actually need more siege units. I don't know, we'll see about that. There are only two tiles I can attack his city from. That's the main problem with this war for me right now. Or I suppose I can move closer. I can move directly next to the city. Or use another tile, but it's going to be hard for me to actually bombard that city. But yeah, the elephants are just dying left and right. There are just so many of them. <laughs> well, the AIs get such ridiculous production bonuses. Yeah. They're going to do it. But eventually they'll run out of elephants. And yep. they'll have to use cows. Pretty small much. ponies. <laughs> oh yeah, I know they're spy. Hmm. I think my... Yeah, my initial start was just... So slowed down. I 
goofed around so much of those barbarians. Mm -hmm. I think that's what a lot of this is. I just feel like I'm just behind the, the curve on everything. Hmm. Well, I'm going to spy on Bismarck, so if you're not doing it yourself, I can tell you if he's building the porcelain tower in his capital or not. Okay. He might be building it elsewhere, but they usually do it in their capital. Yeah. Well, it's usually the highest production center. Mm -hmm. Which I assume is what they actually pick, but I don't know, maybe the AI specifically looks to build things in their capital. I think the main problem with this guy right now is that he doesn't have any other neighbors, so his military is focused on me right now. Mm hmm Well, that makes sense. I can't get anyone else to declare war on him. I can't get his military to get spread out to fight two wars, for example, so he's just focusing on this one choke point and sending everything he has this way. But this should get much better now. I am killing like 2 free units per turn right now. I might actually go for dynamite, but I will get rifling in 7 turns. Alright. Yeah, I guess I should probably make rifling a priority after this as well. Uh, so I'm make... picking order then, because I'm picking my ideology right now. We are going for order. Okay, sounds good to me. Th has anyone else gone anything yet? No, nope. um... just Babylon for order, no one else. Okay. So I could in theory get too early adopter to in freedom, but that doesn't really make any sense for us. I don't think so. No, I like order. And I don't mind the fact that I won't get a, a free one. Mm -hmm. And as long as, like, Babylon, I don't think is at risk of running away with the game in any way whatsoever. Yeah, I don't think so. Actually, the only problem now is, I suppose, if they were in the war against the Ottomans and they happened to lose their capital, that would be pretty tragic. But I'm yeah. hoping they can hold on to that. Mm -hmm. And then, if so, it's a pretty good ally to have. Someone very neutral. Yep. Okay. You know, if the stupid city-state wasn't attacking me, <laughs> I could probably just take this city already. Like, you need Venice to go over there and buy all those city-states yeah. in the East Coast. Yeah, I need Venice to just buy this stupid city-state right now. I don't have to deal with it. Is it tier that's being yeah. the problem? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. I'm killing their units slowly, but... I got three of my own units focusing on that, including my cannon right now. I could have focused on the Troll City instead, for example. Yeah, as far as I can tell, all the cities that I can see are healthy. I think I can see the health bars mm -hmm. from here. I'm not sure if I need vision for that. I don't feel like I do. Well, I just got another great general. So that should also help. Oh, I forgot. I was actually spying on Berlin. Derp, derp. All right, let's let's do it. I'll build the porcelain tower. Unless he builds it in some other city, you should get it. How many turns will you need for it? Fifteen turns. Oh, so you have a decent production city then. That's faster than me. Yeah, that's if I go to the full production focus. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I don't actually have that many good production tiles around London. I have a few, but not an amazing amount. Well, that's my thing with Mecca. Mecca, I didn't feel was very food rich. Yeah. Hmm, no, also, yes, I have aluminum just outside of my territory. And I can't buy that tile. Kuala Lumpur might steal it before I get it. I just got a golden age. Look at that. Always a pleasant surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can get rifling in 16 turns. Then I'll probably end up going up to dynamite. So 
So yeah, I have zero aluminum, which might be a problem for me. I've seen that somewhere before. But this time I really don't have any. Other than this one source that Kuala Lumpur will steal from me from the looks of it. Well, if you don't have it, hopefully I've got it here. I mean, one advantage of being in two separate continents is you get different luxury resources. Oh, yeah, and for it sure. doesn't work the same for strategic ones, but mm -hmm. you know, maybe between the two of us it'll work out okay. Yeah. Well, at least this has been a very nice experience for me. Oh, the experience points of your actual characters. Yeah, yep. yeah your, your army. I've done nothing except fight a couple of barbarians. Mm -hmm. I think the Ottomans are going to my territory with an archaeologist. I wonder where they're going exactly. I should be able to take something soon. I'm almost done dealing with these stupid city-state units. So that means I can focus on the troll city very, very soon. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to take it. And I just got 20 population in London. Nice. Paris is 26. I'm checking who has the biggest capital. I think that's yeah. Babylon with 29. Yeah, what's funny, Istanbul is only 23, but Edirne is 27. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't see Edirne, so... Double wheat, bananas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't actually see Edirne, so... I will get the rifleman in six oh. turns. Who built? Oh. Oh, wow. Germany must have built it somewhere else. Or. Yeah. I see they have a great engineer. I don't know if the. Yeah, the Germany has been built updated. it. Germany built it. They must have built it somewhere else. Yep, yeah, they must have. Oh, well, I only put a few turns of production mm -hmm. in it. So that's not too bad. Mm -mm. It's much more annoying when someone steals it when you're like three few turns away. From completing it, that's the worst. Okay, I think it's time to push this stupid troll city. I didn't lose any units against this guy, so I'm technically doing more than fine. I just didn't move a whole lot. Or I didn't really move at all. He's actually still using crossbowmen against me right now. He hasn't... He, yeah. He must have the tech to upgrade them. Although I guess if he did, he'd probably just do it. Huh. So they want to do world religion, Islam, and cultural heritage sites. Hmm. Well, since we're all Catholic, that would be bad. Yeah, and we probably don't want cultural heritage sites to pass either. Yeah, but <laughs> which Although, one is more important? Hmm. I gotta think the religion is worse. Yeah, it probably is. Oh yeah, we both have the same religion, right. Yeah, Venice has been spreading it like crazy. Yeah. Okay, so let's vote against what religion then. I agree with that. If we get lucky, maybe both will fail, but no. Cultural well, heritage sites usually passes. Mm -hmm. it, which makes sense, because AIs always get a lot of wonders. The Most Ottomans wonders have no dating. religion at all, which is interesting. Yeah, that's actually kind of strange, considering they are in the middle of that continent with multiple neighbors. And no one spread his religion oh, to him. Germany went order, that's great. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, Germany usually likes order. <laughs> Insert comment here. <laughs> yeah. Well ordered Germans. Uh, Bismarck embarked an army with a naval escort to sneak attack my city in Medina. What? Wait, really? How is he going to attack Medina? Hmm. Oh, that's your coastal city, right? Yeah, Bismarck. That's I, interesting. I find it hard to believe that that's actually going to happen. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that. Oh yeah, I see it. You see the army? No, no, I mean, I see the notification. Oh, because yeah. I had a spy in Berlin. 
Yeah, there's no way that's going to happen. I don't see that happening. He would have to, like, sail all around the continent. I would be very impressed if he did. Like, Yeah, but I would be impressed too. Alright, here you go, buddy. Take the city. Yeah. He's denounced... Oh no, he denounced a lot of people. He's denounced by Babylon and the Ottomans, which isn't mm -hmm. bad. He denounced me ages ago. Oh yeah, he denounced me as well. It's interesting that he denounced you. Like yeah, me, I, mean, I can understand. I, I I broke my friendship with him and didn't Yeah, I'm go on to the war. other side of the world. He didn't really do anything with me. Mm -hmm. He had no reason to denounce me, really. I guess he didn't like my face. That's the only reason I can think of. <laughs> he's he's sexist. He doesn't like you before yeah. you because you're a woman. He had a bad day. Sipper is really not growing, but I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Like, it's gonna have to get two more border pops to access fish. Oh yeah, speaking of fish, thanks for reminding me to buy these stars with fish. That will cost me quite a lot of money, but I guess it has to be done. If this wasn't Damascus, that would actually be a pretty good idea. I have money now. Go. Let's buy the fish and then buy a workboat. Now I need to do some micro. And here too, I don't want to lose that tile. I was. I remember thinking about doing this before, and then I was like, "Oh no, I need to save money for a, uh, a research yeah. agreement with you." But now I can do this. Okay, that's much better with these fish tiles. Unfortunately, I had to spend over two hundred gold for that, just for the tiles. Not great. I think I spent way more than that. What's your income right now? Forty-eight per turn. Oh, I must be getting a lot more trade routes. Well, I, I'm getting a good number of them, but they're not huge. Oh, the bazaar is probably added for a lot. Yeah, it definitely does. The bazaar is like one of the better unique buildings in the game, I would say. It's yeah, just awesome. It's something you're always going to want to build anyway. Yeah. Like, everyone builds markets. Mm-hmm. Let's see. No, it's pretty strong. Oh, I still keep thinking in terms of epic game pace. I just tried to get 360 from Babylon for my luxury. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? Why did he not accept? Oh, yeah, that's why. You get okay. used to these numbers. I'm glad I built that citadel, because without it, I would have lost at least one unit, I think. Oh, and I can actually steal an archaeologist. That's nice. <laughs> Thanks, oh, You know what? I don't think it ever occurred to me that you could steal them. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's actually quite nice, because you can buy them, you just have to train them yourself, and it takes a while. Mm hmm So it's awesome when you can actually do it. And I do have two antiquity sites close to my cities, so that's two landmarks. Always useful. Oh, now I can get March on my Gatling gun. That's awesome. So how long is it going to take me to actually push through here? I'm starting to wonder. Are you making progress at all? Or is it still just killing well, you? Well, not really. Way? I didn't really move beyond my own citadel. And I didn't even get started on the troll city yet because I was busy with Tyre. I think I killed all the units near Tyre now, so now <laughs> I can shift my focus. But that took a while. Well, one thing you could do, in theory, mm -hmm. since you are, like, relatively isolated, you could actually just take the city-states as well. I mean, it'll get yeah. you some warmonger, mm -hmm. but... That's true. As long as the Venice doesn't flip. Yeah, I didn't actually consider that, but I could do that. I could actually take Tyre. It's a pretty good city. 
Mm -hmm. Whales. I usually don't do it because it's almost always a pretty bad idea on dating. AIs will just hate you for that. Mm -hmm. But I'm so isolated that you're right, it doesn't really matter all that much. Oh, and you know what? Our timer is expired. Oh yeah, that's right. So let's make a cut here then. I like it. Oh, I'm just getting trade pop-ups. One second here. Uh, no, I don't want five iron for cotton. Venus just denounced me, which is interesting. Whoa, really? Yeah. Oh, that's really a shame. And I had decoration of friendship with them for most of this game. Hey, now I could maybe take Venice if I want to. I probably won't do it right now, but I could if I wanted to. You have a pretty legitimate reason. I think I figured out why I have so much money. I think I have a monopoly yeah. on cotton, so I can mm -hmm. sell cotton to every AI. Oh yeah, that might be it. All right then. Uh, well, this was, this was a pretty good week. I still yep. feel like I'm floundering. I'm clearly not ready for deity on my own, but learning some every time. Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed that I'm stuck in a war again. <laughs> not <laughs> yeah, making a lot of progress. <laughs> the never-ending war. Yeah, even though I do have a big military advantage. But That's oh well, funny. I hope it was entertaining. <laughs> See you next time, folks. No, thanks for watching. See you next time.